As you can see, one of the biggest challenges of our area is violent crime. While many communities are struggling with a wave of murder and other violence, one top St. Charles official says so far they're holding the line. I talked to St. Charles County Prosecutor Tim Lomar. That's tonight's. You paid for it. Tim Lomar says so far St. Charles County is not in the same boat as neighbors in the battle to bring down violent crime. St. Charles County is an area of about 400,000 people. What's the uh, crime picture look like in St. Charles County? You know, I think we're, uh, we're, we're in a decent spot in comparison to uh, other parts of the metropolitan area. We're, we're uh, affected by this, the same uh, types of crime uh, that you see everywhere, except we just don't have the, the numbers that you might see in St. Louis City or St. Louis County. Uh, not a lot of violent crime, uh, fortunately. There were 11 homicides in St. Charles County in 2019. In 2020, there were 10 homicides. 2021, the number of murders dropped to eight. Lomar says so far this year, they have not recorded any homicides. The crime of armed criminal action using a weapon in the commission of a crime. 2019, 74 cases. 2020, there were 81 cases. 2021, that dropped to 62 cases. What do you attribute that trend to? Well, I think a lot of it is, um, is aggressive enforcement you know, in terms of uh, first law enforcement. I think the community is uh, not afraid. And if they see something, they, they say something, they'll contact the police, they'll cooperate as witnesses. The prosecutor says most of the county's crime involves drugs or alcohol addiction. Lomar says it's just as important for St. Charles County to tackle the nonviolent quality of life crimes. Cases of car thefts, tampering with a motor vehicle. In 2019, there were 118 cases. In 2020, 99 cases. That shot up to 170 cases in 2021. Well, I think all things considered with uh, you know, 400,000 people, that's, uh, that's, that's not bad. Unlike some of his more progressive neighboring prosecutors, Lomar attributes the relatively low crime to his office's close working relationship with law enforcement as well as citizens. Uh, the jury pool is very uh, sensitive to violent crimes. I think they, um, assuming we can prove the case uh, when it comes to sentencing, they, uh, they don't tolerate uh, violent crime. Uh, they, they do impose stiffer sentences. Uh, we recommend stiff sentences uh, to violent criminals. When people are uh, held on violent crimes and they're held on a high bond, um, they, uh, they don't go home. So, so word gets out to, to their family and their friends uh, that if you do get caught in St. Charles County, there's a good chance you're not going home the next day. When it comes to violent crime or people that offend against children or repeat offenders, uh, accountability takes precedent there. And that means that uh, in almost all those circumstances, the penitentiary is the answer. Lomar says most of the violent crime committed in St. Charles County are by people who don't live in St. Charles County. He says most of the inmates in the county jail for violent crime are from outside of the county. I'll keep track of Lomar's approach to fighting violent crime. After all, you paid for it.